Trump's humiliating defeats in the state of Georgia this week have got Republicans talking and they're talking about how maybe we shouldn't be listening to Donald Trump anymore because he doesn't know what he's doing with these endorsements. And by the way, there's actually a very good reason why some of these Republicans are angry at him right now. And I'll get to that in just a moment, but let's first talk about who these Republicans are that are now trash talking Trump. Well, first and foremost, you have former New Jersey governor, Chris Christie, who always talks a big game at one point was very buddy, buddy with Donald Trump and then soured on him when he didn't get a job in the administration. So Christie's got some sour grapes there, but Chris Christie had this to say following Donald Trump's humiliating defeats in Georgia. We have to be the party of tomorrow, not the party of yesterday. But more important than that, we, what we have to decide is, do we want to be the party of me or the party of us? What Donald Trump has advocated is for us to be the party of me, that everything has to be about him and about his grievances. Trump picked this fight and he lost that fight too. An aide to former vice president Mike Pence had this to say, I think the former president has been poorly advised because he's made a lot of endorsements in an effort to showcase his formidability. And that has the counter effect that actually shows the endorsement doesn't carry the same weight it once did. Now I'm going to stop you right there. uh, Former vice president Mike Pence aide, his endorsements never carried weight. His endorsements, as I have told you time and time and time again, based on actual studies that have looked at every single race, the man has endorsed somebody in his endorsement is more likely to cause you to lose the race than to win it. Statistically, his endorsements have always been horrible. So you can't sit there and say like, they don't carry the weight they once had. They never had it. It was an illusion that he himself created and you all bought into. But now you're starting to see what I've been screaming about for a year now, ever since that first report came out, that it's all fake. It's all, it's all a mirage. But now you're starting to wake up to it. So I guess good for you for finally looking at reality instead of trying to see everything through Donald Trump's rose colored glasses. So why are they so pissed off right now? Right? Cause he only lost, you know, the, the two big contests in Georgia, of course, those were the biggest ones. Well, they're pissed because it drained the Republican party in Georgia of much needed money because that's what happens. See folks, they're not just mad that Trump is losing. They're mad that his losses are costing Republican incumbents a lot of money. When you have to fight a bitter primary battle against somebody endorsed by the former president of the United States, it's going to cost you. It's going to cost you a lot. And when you're spending that money on a primary, guess where you can't spend it after that because it's gone. That's right. The general election and Georgia is going to prove to be a very contentious election. Stacey Abrams, who is running against Brian Kemp is hugely popular. Had it not been for Kemp purging a bunch of voters before the 2018 election, Abrams would be governor of Georgia right now. And that's a reality that Republicans don't want to face, but she is hugely popular. And now Brian Kemp has had to spend a ton of money fighting off David Perdue because Donald Trump forced Perdue to run against Brian Kemp. And that's what's pissing these Republicans off today. They're not mad that he's made a couple of bad endorsements. They're mad that he's made a couple of bad endorsements that have cost Republicans millions of dollars that they now don't have to fight in the general election. Hey everyone, this is Aspen. And did you know that for the low, low cost of $0 per day, you can subscribe to the fair and balanced YouTube channel. We also encourage you to like comment and share, but again, click that subscribe button and help Aspen not be so grumpy.